Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles and back to the Sudoku Tudes set of puzzles, where I'm going to be moving into some of the harder puzzles, at least according to my testers. I don't remember how hard this one is. This is Maximilian, which is an XV pairs puzzle. Um, so, of course, there'll be a link below to where you can try this puzzle for yourself. Um, and of course, all of these puzzles are being added to a Sudoku Tudes playlist. Um, so let's have a look at the rules and then get on to the puzzle. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then XV pairs. So digits separated by an X must sum to 10. Digits separated by a V must sum to five. Um, now, the XV pairs is basically reflecting the fact that um, the all, um, not all Xs and Vs are necessarily given, um, and that's a historical thing because in a lot of XV puzzles, um, all of them are given. But in this case, it's not. Uh, in this puzzle, that is not the case. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. And one of the things I remember playing with, I remember playing with when I was creating this is the concept of high low. So digits above five and digits below five. So in order to put digits onto a V, the digits must be below five because you, if you were to put a five on a V, the other side would have to be zero and anything above five, the other digit would have to be negative. So we can say any digit that goes onto a V clue must be below five. And I normally use below blue to indicate below five. And we know that one, two, and four are also below five. So I'm going to mark those digits in the grid as being below five. Now, therefore, we know those are two digits that sum to five. Now, there's only two ways of doing that. Um, you could use one plus four or two plus three. And this can't be one plus four because of this one. So this is two and three. This one is also two, three, because we can't use... Um, one, four in either of those because they both see that one. Now, the next concept we want to talk about, and I'm going to use this cell to talk about it, is the other side of an X clue must be above five, um, or an, an X clue must contain a digit below five and a digit above five. If you add any two digits below five together, you won't get as high as 10. If you add any two digits above five together, you're above 10, and you can't put five on an X domino because the digits would, uh, um, because the other side of the digit, because they're always in the same column or the same row, the other side would mean you're putting two fives in that column or row and it doesn't work. So you must have the other side being high. Um, and this is important. We can start here. What can this be? Because this cannot be a low digit. If this was a low digit, it would need to be one, two, three, and four, but that cell sees one, two, three, and four. So this must be the high digit. This must be the low digit. And um, this digit here, um, is this where I'm looking? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, this has can't be 2, 3. So this is 1, 4. And the 4 is telling us that's the 1 and that's the 4. And now we know this digit must be a 2 or a 3 because it's below um, 5, but it can't be a 1 or a 4. So this is a 2, 3. This is a 7, 8 to get to 10. But now this V clue can't be a 2, 3 because then this would have no fill. So this is 1, 4. And the 1 is looking down, making that the 4 and that the 1. Now, four can't be in those cells or those cells, so we must put a four on this V clue, which automatically means this is one four, and this is either six or nine to complete the, the X clue. Now, this V clue here can't be a one four because that would conflict with this. If this was a one four, we'd have three digits in this column that were the, from the same two digits. It doesn't work. This must be a two three. So the low digit on this has to be a one or a four, but it can't be a four because of this. So this becomes a one nine, which means this becomes a six. This becomes a four. This becomes a one. This one, of course, is a one four because it can't be a two three. Um, and oh, this is these, I should have marked these as all above, um, above, uh, ab above five. This one is also above five. And where am I looking now? Is it this one? Yes. I, this must be four, six, because I must put a digit below, um, below five, uh, on this and one, two, and three are not available. This must be four, six, and this four is making this the six and this the four. So that is below, that is above. Okay. And now I must have a digit below 
five on this and two, three, and four are not available. So this becomes one, nine. And with this being one, nine, I can't put a one in any of those cells. And with this being one, four, I can't put a one in any of those cells. So where is the one in this row? Well, I can't put it in any of those. I can't put it in any of those. And I can't put it in those because this is a one, nine. So that is a one and that is a nine, which makes that a one and that a nine. And the one makes that the four and that the one. Um, one in this box now has to be here by Sudoku. Um, and I can probably, and now of course, this X clue maybe? Yes, this X clue is incredibly powerful because it can't be one nine. It could be two eight in that order. It can't be three seven and it can't be four six. So this has to be two and eight, which is high and low. Is it this one now? Because this is the only clue I haven't done. Now I can't use one or four on this. So this has to be either two, eight or three, seven. I can't put an eight there, so I can't put a two there. Can I narrow that down any further? Not sure yet. Six is in one of those two by Sudoku. I can probably get rid of the coloring at this point because I think I'm done with all the high low. Um, I could be wrong, but I think I'm ready to get rid of the coloring. Eight. Yeah, let's look at eight. Eight can't be in any of those. So eight is up here somewhere. So eight has to be in one of those. So eight is in one of those two. Two has to be down here. So two has to be in one of those two because of... Ah, the same. This is a two eight pair. Two and eight can't go in those. And the two, three and the eight means two and eight can't be there. This is a two eight pair. So... And that means the two eight is looking across, making that the three and that the seven, which looks across saying that's not the seven. So that's not the three. This is the low. This is the high. Seven and seven. Putting seven down here. Six is down here. One. One goes there by Sudoku. That finishes that off. Nine is in one of those two by Sudoku. What are these digits? I need to put a three in one of, oh, this is a triple. One, two, three, five, nine, and that can't be a three. But if that's three, five, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, this is a seven, which puts seven in one of those. This isn't a nine because of the nine looking up. Fours, four can't be in any of those. So four is in one of those two. So four has to be in one of those three by Sudoku, but the two fours are looking down, making that the four. And now seven has to be in one of those two. Seven is in one of those two. I'm not sure how that's helping me yet. Can I do more with fours? Yes, four and four. Four is not in any of those. So four is there. And the reason I said not there is because of that four. This is a four. Ah, and that four is looking down saying that's not the four. That's the four. So this is five or nine to complete this column. Okay. Six is in one of those two. Wow, okay. I do remember this one was a step up. Three has to be in one of those two, because the two, three is saying three is not down here. Five, I'm not sure about. Seven is down here. So what could this be? Can't, so this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, and nine. And that one can't be a six. That's only a five or a nine. Two 
two is over, two is in one of those two. Mm. Eight, ah, but eight is in one of those. This eight is saying eight's not there. So eight is in one of those two. So this isn't the eight, this is the eight. The nine is looking up saying that's not the nine and this has to be a five or a six for this column. This is a three seven pair. Three and seven, three and seven. This has to be a three seven pair. So one, these are two, five and six and two must be in here saying that's not the two, that's the two. So this is five, six or nine and it can't be six. So this is only five or nine. So this is five, six, or nine for the column. Hmm. Trixie. Actually quite Trixie. Three, five, six, and seven go across here. That's not seeming to be that powerful. Have I missed a clue somewhere? It's possible. It's the sort of thing I do. Six is in one of those. So what are these? Five, six, seven, and eight. So this is restricted. This is only five or seven because it can't be six or eight. Can that be a, a can? So these, uh, it's not restricted either. Don't remember this puzzle that well. I do remember playing with the concept of high-low and then it being some tricky Sudoku. These digits, they're not one, two, three, four, they're five, seven, and eight. So these are five, seven, and eight. That one seems to be any of them. That can't be an eight, that can't be a seven. There has to be another two, three in here somewhere. That can't be a two or, right. Where's the other two, three in this box? That can't be a two or a three because of that two, three pair. This has to be a two or a three. So that's not the seven, that's the seven. Which looks down, making that the seven, because I have to put seven in this column somewhere, which means that's the three, that's the seven. This is now a pair, five and six. That three... The seven takes seven out of there. So what are these? These are five, six, seven, eight, because one, two, three, four, and nine. These are five, six, seven, eight. That one can't be a seven, eight. That one can't be an eight. That is a five, six pair. So that's the eight, that's the seven. So there's no seven there. This is a five, six pair, but the seven means that's the three, that's the two, that's the three, that's the two, that's the three, that's the two. This is a five, six, nine now. So that's the eight, that's the five. There's no five there. This is a six, nine. The five looks down taking five out of there. That's a six, nine. This is a five or a nine. Okay, still have a little bit more to find. In this column, five, eight, and nine. And this, so this is a five, nine, because I can't put eight in either of those because of the two, eight, and the eight. So this is the eight, this is the nine. This is a five, nine. So one, two, these are three and seven.
Okay. It's not giving up yet. It will. I will make it. These are five, six, and eight, and there's no eight there or there. So this is an eight, which looks up making that the two and that the eight. The five, six makes that the nine and that the five, which looks across making that the six and that the five. The six looks back making that the nine and that the six, which makes that the nine, which makes that the five, which makes that the six, which looks down making that the five, taking five out of those. But the five looks across making that the six and that the five. The six looks back making that the two and that the six. The two looks across making that the three and that the two. The five looks across making that the six. Uh, there's a five in this column, making that the nine, taking nine out of those. There's a five here, making that the three and that the five. There's a nine, making that the five and that the nine. This row, one, two, three, four, five, six, is missing at seven, looking up, making that the three and that the seven. This box is missing, I've got one, two, I don't have three or five, and the three looks down, making that the five and that the three. So, uh, yeah, a little bit trickier, this one. The point of this one was to play with high-low to break into the XV and then have some Sudoku. I, I'm not sure if I mentioned so far in this set, but the point of these was to explore and for me to improve my Sudoku techniques while also exploring how the constraints worked. And I've really been enjoying this set for that. So hopefully you're enjoying it as well. Um, this is definitely getting to the end of the set. There are some really tricky ones at the end of this, which I hope you enjoy as well. I hope you enjoyed Maximilian and as always, good luck with your solving.